I mean, this is me. It's like, it's funny, because, like, Hook is, like, terrified of <laughs> me. Uh, I played Hook in, uh, TSB, right? Like, the, thanks for the invite tournament, the team tournament. And I noticed that he, like, kind of locks up when I would run at him. So I thought I could just run his ass over. And I didn't really think about it more than that. But he played defense and neutral in the set so good that I think like even if I was like super awake and like at my best, he would have mopped me still. Um, and in fact, like, you know, after I played this, when I went into losers, I was like, I, I was, like you know that meme where it's like the gamer leaning, where like you lean in forward? That was actually me. Like I was kind of sleepy in my chair. I was like kind of not all there. Then he beat me and I was like, I'm not losing the fucking fast. <laughs> Everything he did here with his movement is like super good. He's not really cornering himself. He's playing it pretty slow. Well, that was a bad first. So uh, one thing I started doing, I so again, this is something because um, when I played him before, he fuzzy jumped a lot, and that's why I did this. I did close slash, micro dash, close slash. I don't know why I didn't throw. This is weird. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised I did not. One thing, like, I think if you're a fast player and you're like, oh, I want to study this and see how he approached it, one thing you should look at is his 2H usage. It's very good. So, every time the situation comes up, I assume he's going to default the junkie, because I mean, of course, like, it's, it's a strong option, right? And it's new, so I think a lot of fast players will default to it. So I did HCP specifically to catch this. I choose not to go for uh, wall break sometimes, but you can kill even without it. Like, you can just snowball off the pressure and just kill them. You don't use the wall break and then let's say you, you open them up with close slash or something, then they're gonna wall break in two hits. If you super there or like you, you get like a Fafnir under, it's gonna be like 200 damage or 200 or like 260 more. So it's like you can reliably do a combo that doesn't break the wall, open them up once and kill them. You may notice I tried to uh, micro dash with. I tried to just essentially dash forward, but uh, he crossed me up and I got back dash because of it. But I mean, this situation's like good for me. I should have back hit again. See, another thing is I'm still playing too respectful of him on offense. So, like, when I get in situations like this, he's like almost killing me. But this is when I could just straight up kill him. I don't know what I'm being so afraid of. Oh, I, I see it again. So this is something that also happened that was pretty good. Um, he would match throw on reaction to me dashing up. So like, I did close slash, run up. Oh wait, I got bar slash, but I'm gonna take a close slash. But like, this like lost me the game. This right here lost me the game. I think I tried to DP. I, I dp again. This is like checkmate. I, I actually lost, I think, here too. Even though I got this DP off, because of mini fast, I could not have won this game, I don't think. So I, I one thing that I, I'll, just, I'll tell you about too is I noticed that um, if Faust tries to do round start 2P, 2K will clash and then I would use that to uh, do fire S and at least start uh, offense, right? Um, one thing I also did a lot was I, I backdash too much. Um, usually taking straight hits or like playing around like the straight hits like this is usually not that bad. Again, like, Puck's neutral was so good this time. Can I get mini house? His movement here was great. So let me show you, like, again. Um, so, like, this gamble here was very good. Because, like, one, two S is pretty minus, but also, like, the risk war is a very minus. I mean, I don't even hit him once. See what I mean? Like, he's playing neutral super well. This movement was fucking fucking chef's kiss. Like this right here. This may look really minor, but the reason why he did this was so he could get back to mini pals. So see, in this situation, I have to respect mini pals. That was a good PRC. I should have back here instantly, because he can't do anything off that that would be a threat, you know? Um, but again, see? Perfect 2H usage. Yeah, that was super good. And right there. He then, he's adapted to, um, 
I mean, forcing those trades, right? He's, he's entirely adapted to it, and now he's just using Far Acer on stern. So, like, again, he's shown, like, really great adaptation to me. His decision making, um, how he chose to contest the neutral, how he rotated, and even how he played defense, like, he played it very, very well. Like, exceptionally well. Like, I was really, really impressed. Because when I played him before, I kind of just steamrolled him, <laughs> to, be, to be quite blunt. But the way he adapted, both to like how I played and how in general how he's improved, super impressive. I was very, very impressed. I was like, damn, look, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like one person to get salty or anything like that after losses. Um, but like, you know, I was just like mind fucked. I was like, this dude, like, like he deserved that, you know what I mean? Like the way how well he played, I was like, he fucking deserved that. Like I was kinda like popping off for for uh for, <laughs> for like, um but then like so what I what I thought about was if I play him again, um I felt very, very confident I would win, for sure. Because um what is Rest doing as well? And it, it forces a counter hit. So my decision making at that point was um I thought, like, one, I wasn't aggressive enough. Two, um, I played into kind of bad RPS. Um, a lot of, like, you know, dash, like, to the very tip of 2H range, it's gamble with success. I shouldn't have done that. I should have used the threat of bringer more. Um, and one thing that I also, um, one thing I should have also represented more was I should have used the dash, the dash button. That was a huge thing, because almost, I think, three times, three rounds I lost because I FD break. And I still do it, and it's still good to use, but, like, you'll notice that my movement is a lot more, like, team, you know, like, when I, when I start using the dash button. So, first, um, when it comes to this matchup, I don't know that much in, in Strive. But, uh, you know, I was very good at this matchup in x -area. That's, like, probably one of my best matchups. I don't play it a ton the same. I play a bit more, like, like, committal in terms of, like, it's easier for you to just, like, make your block once and win. Um, but it's harder to play against her in the air. So I think it's, like, about, like, playing very good movement. So I just try to use really good movement. So, like, um, one thing I've gotten in the habit of is if they, uh, Kapal, I'll work, I'll play around, um, where I think they'll, they'll move. Like, you can see I'm doing a lot of movement, like, around where I think. Using a lot of movement, I think, is the most ideal against her, because if she plays kind of linear to where she never interacts with you, then she's gonna get negative, right? And I mean, you can just corner her if she just keeps running away from you and never choosing to, like, interact, right? So I focus a lot on trying to be where I think she's going to land. That was not a real setup. I knew that. I think this is going to kill. Yeah, this tally is probably going to kill. I think that first was kind of bad. Uh, they could run it back, but, like, it's going to be hard. See, I'm doing a lot of, like, like jump, jump key, a lot of, like, uh, jump K. In this position is... Oh, she's dead. Oh, that is bad. Oh, that might be dead, That's 100% yeah. This is not exclusive to Soul. If you have a high damage super, and you do like one or two hits, if you get like maybe, you know, between three to five hits to break the wall, and you end in super, you're gonna kill people in... in like two combos. It's not exclusive to Soul. Leo can do it, or Nago can do it. <laughs> Oh, death. That's death. That's death. That's death. Yeah, see? Same situation again. One thing I also try to do is, I try to play around movement a lot. Like, I use a lot of backdash, especially against her. And she's gonna have to dash up to meet me. I did 6 sets with, and I still managed for her, because I expected them to do run up uh, 5k. Good whip on it. That was very good. See, great movement from Ice there. He's mixing the fuck out of me. 
game. I just I just get straight every every situation there. So for me versus Punk, I mean, I'm fairly familiar with the, the matchup. I think it hasn't changed a ton from X Ray. Punk Punk knows it quite well. I mean, he plays pretty fundamentally solid. So like trying to like flail on him is like kind of pointless. Like he he definitely focuses on making me whiff stuff, and then he plays pretty consistent. I played him in a set the night before. I think if I hadn't played him, he probably would have beat me. Like, tournament nerves and everything and all that considered. Um, because I thought how he approaches Soul is very unique. I mean, he could have beaten me anyways. Um, but I think like for sure he would have beaten me if, if we hadn't played. Um, just because his way of playing was not what I expected. And his decision making is... I expected it to be very good, but it, it was like, except, you know. But it also kind of gave me a bit of a game plan for how I should play against him. Sometimes I think he gave me a bit too much credit. And there's also still like, you know, we both made errors in both sets, you know, like not just this one or the last one. There are a lot of situations where we fumbled. So like I focused more on control and, and just like hard FPS is in situations that favor me. And another thing that uh, I worked on too, one thing that got me killed in our first attempt was I dropped hella car of Fafnir's and I, I'd whiff right outside his face. See, that time I hit him, or I, I did it properly. I think car of Fafnir was specifically quite good against how he likes to approach the matchup. But even so, like, see, like, he's really good at, at beating me into to whiffing at, at, like, max range. Like, this was exceptional. Right here. This was exceptional. See, again, that time, if I didn't craft after, I would have gotten even shit. So I'll tell you one thing that I, I I made a big improvement on, or what I looked for more so from our set previously, is that because he, he tends to look for me to whip stuff, I was a lot more greedy with my movements. Like, again, like, I would look for Kara Fafnir a lot. If he's looking for me to whip something, like, with his movement, then that's, like, 100% what I want to aim for. I want to kind of bully him into the corner, because even if I guess wrong, the risk for it is still not that bad, you know? This is a great punish. He's very good at punishing like this. He's better than, than me at punishing it, because I have, I have exert frame. So like I'm, I always think like I'm just getting a fucking revolver or something. Oh, this is so sad. That was so unfortunate. So this this situation, first the date was great. It was super smart. Um, the reason why I did tire rave was because I was in positive. So I was like, fuck it, right? like can't be that bad. When that happened, at first I felt bad. I was like, that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad. But the second thing, I was like, there's no way run up throw is going to lose here. There's no way. Just because, like, I don't know, when something like that happens, you're like, this bullshit. And I know, like, most people are going to, like, they're going to just, like, go ham, you know? I don't like discussion around who's the best in a region. I think it's a stupid discussion because, like, there's a lot of factors. And, um, it's, it's silly. But I think, like, you know, you'd be stupid to say that Punk is not, like, you know, a, a viable contender for being considered the best. People should give him a lot of, a lot of respect for that. Because, like, it, there's a lot of really good players in North America. So, he's very good just fundamentally, you know. So again, this, for this one, I thought, okay, how I'm going to approach this matchup is I'm going to play a lot more aggressive. I'm going to play way more confident. Essentially, I thought, if I'm going to gamble, then it's going to be on something like Fafnir, or like in a situation where I'm very confident of it. So, I thought, um, I mean, I, I couldn't adapt fast enough when we played in the first set, but like, when he beat me, it really woke me up. I was like, I'm not losing this. That was fucker. <laughs> so, I like really thought about it. It's it's actually just like what Sage Jam said. He actually put it great. I mean, like, you know, like when you, you win the yeah. first one, they are stewing. They're like, man, you know what? If I just did this, this little punk will never beat me again. So I think it's it's pretty hard. We'll see if Hook can do it twice here. He he's hundred percent right. Well, I mean, it wasn't like oh, it wasn't like oh, you know, this punk. I thought oh, I should have done this and I would have just won. So see again, I'm gambling way more than before. Focusing way more on keeping him in the corner, and then using more throws too.
I'm surprised that six was actually killed. That actually shocked me. That was also one thing that, um, get pretty much, I was just like, why am I respecting Faust so much? Why am I so afraid of him? I was like, time to die, bitch. <laughs> so here, um, I thought, well, one thing I've also not really done, one thing I, I wanted to do was represent more Vortex. I didn't do enough Vortex in general. We're scalpel and to call it items. Okay, read. I didn't mind him getting afro because he's limited on what he can do because of that. Yeah, see? But then, <laughs> pretty much leaves it because of that. But it's still a great so I didn't feel like that bad about it. He, I think he panicked and threw instantly to the phone reaction to the RC. This, he could have survived here. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, see, he like throws a bit too early. You can't, um... You can't air throw from above like that, but you can air throw from up below them. So that didn't work. I, mean, I should have backed me there, but see, like, again, I expected him to respect me, so I was just like, fuck it, I'll go up and throw. See, like, that's what I meant by I'm gambling in bigger ways, too. One other thing I, I wanted to start doing was, um, even if I play safe, I want to micro dash on, uh, you can see I'm using the dash back up too, that was another big thing. If I'm gonna commit to a dash, I wanna just sit on trumpet. Or what I think trumpet will be. I also use preemptive uh, gunflame against uh, skeletal more. Again, I, I probably should use more vortex. This meteor was like so unfortunate for me. Let's see, I vortex instantly again. I thought if he hadn't, if he had bursted instantly, um, he would have, he would have died there, but, um, if he hadn't, I could have done Vortex Tyrant Rave, and then he would have died. Uh, he got unlucky with this too, he got Anvil, so when I made him block, I knew Revolver would, would pretty much jail him. And then he didn't block, I guess he tried to up back or something. So, uh, he just got fucked. See, again, in here, I didn't really represent a ton of Fafnir initially, but... You can see Kara Fafnir. I catch him. That's that. Ooh, you're dead. <laughs> I should have worked next day. See, I represent Jump, because now he's representing more France. So this was an accident. Um, so jumping back in the situation, just in case they do um, Scarecrow and cross you up with Meteors, is pretty good. I actually 5 k and this shit still traded. <laughs> I can't actually believe it. You know, one of the things he's kind of adapted with, he's gambling a lot more, with like his, his how he's pressing, or how he's pressing. Hey, here. This situation, uh, someone brought this up earlier, but you can throw him if he goes for the DRC like this, because it kills with invul. See again, I just I land where right, I pretty much hold my ground where Trumpet is, and I just like let him do whatever. Once he whiffs something, I was like, oh, Vortex is probably gonna have worse trades, so I, I pretty much won. <laughs> So this is the last one, me versus Sonic. Probably the worst person for me to play. Because again, I was pretty tired. My reactions were 100% not as good as they could have been. Like, Leo, like, I can block him kind of consistently, but I'm, I'm fucking... <laughs> it takes all my brain power. So I, I represent the same option as before. Same thing as I went for, um... Also, one thing I want to highlight, um... Uh, Sonic asked me to do this, which I mean, it's like, I was like, hell yeah. I actually changed my name to, to trans, right? Like, in the lobby, but it didn't... It didn't update. Like, my arc code had changed, but in-game it didn't, so I had to rejoin the lobby. But, uh, yeah, so like, I I did this to try to bait. I don't know what I pressed. I pressed 6S, but, he, uh, but they autopiloted it and went for, uh, Rekka. So after I was like, I should spot. See, that's how I updated it. Sometimes I get like two like mega minds. I'm like, oh, they're looking for it, and they know I'm looking for it. I they know I know that they're looking for it, so they won't do it. <laughs> so then I I vortexing it, but 
such kind of match my king. Oh, I can't believe that whiffed. That was unfortunate. So, like, I thought they would they avoid using flash kicks. But I think they knew, like, my defense was not as good as it normally was. They could tell I was kind of off. So, they, like, them gambling was, like, really smart. This was bad. I don't know why I back that. I think I dropped my SDT. I don't know why I didn't burst. They didn't tell it. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, there's no reason for me to hold that damage. So, like, at this point, I was kind of, like, too tired. I think, um, I don't know if it would have been the case, like, even in first to, first to three. I was, I was just, like, washed. <laughs> I couldn't do this anymore. Like, I was, I was super tired and, like, like, playing Punk and Hook and Ice, like, it's hard to keep my men slow. So I, like, fooled it. I probably should have taken long breaks between playing, but I, I kind of just wanted to be over it too because I wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> this is something I also died to a lot. They do round start 6p and I get hit by the turbulence. This is pretty bad. So like one thing I should have done was represent more 2s. 2s is very good against all Leo's round starts, but I didn't do it at all for some reason. A little bit of a, an exert brain thing. I should have ran. I should have just taken like the escape, but I, I for some reason like felt that button. In this game, it's not it's not worth it. This was really unfortunate. I like <laughs> I like threw the game off as I threw this round because I could have won from this position. Like look at the risk. But I, I dashed up and I think I got five I did 5k and they ended up crossing me up so they got out. So this is super unfortunate. I also wasn't looking hard enough for um I wasn't looking hard enough for uh fireball. Ooh, good bait. I don't know what I got. I think I must have messed up my DP. Honestly I play this better than I remember. But uh, my decision making was still pretty weak. Like a lot of my, a lot of my decision making was super bad. Oh, I, this this really sucked. So um, this would have punished if I six h instantly. This would have actually killed. Or sorry, not killed, but it would have counter hit and done hella damage. But I don't know. I think I didn't get my input because I would not walk for it around the start. <laughs> <laughs> I could have died there. So after uh, after 6k, I tried a BRC, but uh, I didn't like. I think I tried a split PRC or I tried a far ass PRC or something. I don't know what I did. This was a big mistake. And then they caught my ass. So they they played that very well. They really like dissected how I played. And it made me really, it made me really happy too. Um, it made me really happy too, cause like they were, they were really happy. Cause like they said, they made a tweet saying like, like you know, oh, Dev is my demon. So I, they hadn't beat like in, every time we played, I don't think they beat me in like an extended set at all. And even like the first of ten, the first of ten we've run, um. When we when we like talked like oh yeah we're gonna run a first attempt they haven't they hadn't beaten me so this is the first time they really like got me so like you know at the same time I was disappointed but like seeing how happy they were I was like oh that's kind of sweet I'm kind of happy but you know I like uh, I don't care too much about my placing I did pretty well I think I, I was pretty fulfilled by um by even just having my name like that to be honest if I took better care of myself I would have played a bit better but like it's hard to say like Hook I think would have beaten me either way. Like, he, he played so well. Sonic, like, played fantastic too. Um, even, like, regardless, like, if I didn't play 100%, the thing is, they were able to detect I wasn't, and they knew where I was, like, like, where I was weak, and they abused that, and that's, like, the sign of, like, someone really good. Especially, like, you know, they, um, they and I have played a lot, so, like, we have a pretty good grasp on each other's play style, like, what we look for, and, um, their decision making is honestly just very, very good and, and very smart. It would have been nice to win, but uh, I don't really mind.
<laughs> I don't really mind uh, all things considered. I had a good day. And uh, it was nice just to compete in a tournament because that was my first open tournament in two years. Two or three years? Uh, yeah, like two years. So that was that was fulfilling for me. So I, I'm excited to enter the big Levo. I want to also kind of go down. Hey, damn, I'll never tell you, but he's my number one fan. 